Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm Zen, and we are here to watch Ruby Volume 8, Chapter 9. Um, in the last one, we had the Hound arriving at the Schnee Manor. Um, they're presumably there to take uh, Penny away while uh, Cinder went to go grab uh, Watts from prison. Um, we had a, a nice little talk between uh, Ruby and Blake, which is, is good because I don't think they've ever had a talk one-on-one. -on -one. Um, at least I'm pretty sure they haven't. Um, and I think they're the only ones out of, out of the team that haven't. Um, so it was nice that uh, Blake's sitting there uh, reminding her of what makes her like a good leader and like why why she chooses to follow her. And it's because she, re regardless of how bad things go, she, she always takes action uh, regardless of whether or not it works out. Um, and there, there's good and bad sides to that. Um, I, I found that up to this point, Ruby's attitude has always been either all of us make it or none of us make it, which it, it's noble, but... Uh, sorry, got to fix my camera here. My cat like was pulling on the cord and messed it all up. Um, but yeah, there, there, there's good and bad sides to that. Um, it, I'm at least glad that... She, she still has some of her, like, indomitable optimism. Um, and that she she's still constantly trying to do the best possible thing. Because uh, if her character breaks, then it's not going to be good for anyone else. Because she she's kind of like the shining light for a lot of them right now. Um, we didn't get anything from Ren, Yang, or Jean. Which means I'm guessing that... Cat, stop it. Dang it. Um, I'm guessing we're probably going to get some of them uh, this chapter. Sorry, this cat is driving me absolutely insane right now. Um, so yeah, we're probably going to get some of them this chapter. I wonder if we're going to get some of the Aesops this chapter as well. Uh, last chapter we had the... They, they successfully killed the Hound, uh, but not before we learned that there was actually a human inside of it, which I know a lot of people have... Uh, guest at that and uh, I actually I figured we might see uh, a human grim at some point but uh, I never guessed it would look like that that was actually kind of horrifying um, and then we had uh, Nora with a little a little moment with uh, Penny kind of telling her that like yeah don't forget about the other all the other parts of you regardless of there being a part that wants to do one thing um, but yeah, uh, we're going to get into this. Uh, I'm super excited to see where this, uh, where this chapter is going to go. I'm going to go and switch screens here. Um, we're going to go ahead and get started in three, two, one. So I got to keep an eye on what this cat is doing at all times in here because it likes to try and bite all my wires. You know, unlike every other opening, this one doesn't really, like, foreshadow, like, many things that are happening, many things that are happening in the volume. Cat? I swear. Oh my god. What are you knocking over? Don't own pets, guys. Pets are a pain. Also, one thing I, I'd never noticed about Penny in the opening right there when she, like, flies up uh, above everyone else is that she's facing towards everyone like she's about to fight them along with the Grim. Like, I, I didn't pay that close attention to it before, but now that I've seen that, it, it makes me kind of worried.
Oh, we're going back to the battlefield. How are there any soldiers left? Also, where did all the apathy that we saw go? Man, they got in there pretty easy. Well, that was harrowing. Oh, we're not in the clear yet. We still have to search this whole thing and find Oscar. Or the Aesop's blow us to pieces. How are we supposed to find Oscar? It's going to be like finding a needle in a giant whale. Why did we think this was a good idea? I... I might be able to help. I can sense spikes of people's emotions, I think. It happened on winter ship. If I focus my aura, I can keep it up. Okay. That's new. Maybe one of them is Oscar? I can sort of tell where they are, but not who. They're more or less in the same area, though. Further in. I can lead. Hey, you don't have to drain yourself. I can help, too. Yeah. Uh, good thinking. Thanks. Well, lead the way. I love that Jean is still kind of a little goofy idiot sometimes. She brushed off her bumps and bruises. Nothing hurt worse than the loneliness in her chest. I recognize that. The girl who fell through the world. <laughs> I shouldn't be surprised you're so familiar with fairy tales. I've lived through my share of how are you holding up? I thought the idea of falling through Rem into a new world was exciting. I never understood why she was so sad when she finally made it back home. But now, it makes more sense. She wasn't the same girl anymore. Yeah. yeah I'm gonna shut my fan off. I think this plan to divide might have run its course. Hold on a second. It's actually making it really hard for me to hear. It's time we start thinking about a way out. Not having our cane certainly limits the options, so... No. I don't like what happens when we use magic. Every time we use it, I can feel us merging faster. I'm not ready for that. I don't blame you. Honestly, I think you're doing just fine on your own. I think Hazel. Who? Oh. oh no, Neon's out there. Oh, all of Team Funky. That is true, and I use the password myself. Well, I don't know what happens when this thing activates. Do let's see if you're bluffing. You want me to summon her? Either way, it'll tell me what I need to know. What are you doing? Hmm. Let's find out. And Emerald's gonna be there too. Oh man. Jin. Is that gonna freeze? I hope that freezes Salem too. I wonder how localized that time stop is. Or if it's just the entire world. Oh, hello again, old man. Oh man. Did you have a question for me? <laughs> Actually, 
I think all my questions are answered now. What are you going to do? What Gretchen would have done. And that starts with getting you away from here. Both of you. This is it! I'm going to need something before I go. So, just to be clear, none of you have a question for me? No, but we'll be bringing you with us. The moment we move that thing, this place goes on high alert. Better to get you out first. But... I'll come back for it. Not like she knows the password anyway. Oh, but I feel like she could get it out of you. What if she can hear everything? Oh no, who's there? Oh, Neo. Oh, man. <sighs> Sorry. It's not your fault. I'm masking and tracking at the same time. Do you guys need a minute? We don't know how much longer we have. Why don't you give masking a break? Give me directions and I can scout ahead. Thanks. We should be heading straight for a while. Hm. This is getting... Oh, no. Well, at I... least you guys being friends again takes the sting out of impending doom. I don't like this... It's okay to be afraid, you know. ...going off by himself. You don't always have to hide it with a joke. Glad I'm not the only one who's scared. Of course I'm scared. Him, on the other hand, there's no fear at all. I can see it. He believes we're going to get this done. Then I do too. Yeah, mask is right now. Oh Jesus! Oh, that thing can actually see, can't it? That was terrifying. Let's do what we do best. Charge blindly into danger. <sighs> would have gone with keep moving forward, but sure. Oh my god. They would make him say that. No matter what. God damn it, Rooster Teeth. would be surrounded by a million ships. She's scared. Just like us. Or maybe because I know how to get out of here. Anybody coming? It's finally happening! The thing I've been talking about since volume three! This is it, everyone. We're gonna clear a path to that monster. We get the payload aboard, set the timer, and then we're out. They might still be alive in there. I gave them their window. We can't wait any longer. Would you say the same thing if it was your sister inside? Are you gonna tell her what you did to her friends? 
Yes, Mira. Because that's my duty. Now you do yours. We're almost out. Oh, Salem's gonna pop up. It's gonna take off. Oh no! No! You really have been honing that semblance of yours. No, please don't let anything bad happen to Emerald. Oh Jesus. I think that happened to Emerald. <gasps> no, no. What did you do with the lamp? Nothing. It's missing. <gasps> Where is it? Where is Neo? Do anything with it? Where is it? yourself and for what these children this ruined world oh man Why do you keep coming back why do you all of this endless death because something bad happened to you once upon a time nobody gets a fairy tale ending oh man Everything I've lost, every person I've lost, is because of you. And who is it I've taken from you, girl? Summer Rose, my mom. Hmm. Her again? Your grace. Ah, Hazel. Oh, come on, Hazel. Found our guests. Hazel, do the right thing. This one was helping them. Take the boy back to his chamber. I have work to do with this one. No, she's gonna turn her into a grim. Of course. Oh, come on, Hazel. He gave him the lamp. Oh no, he gave him the cane! I really don't know. Yeah! Fucking go, Hazel! <laughs> oh, but I have a feeling Hazel's gonna die here. Oh, Jesus! Hazel. Go. Oh, man. So, you decided against vengeance for your sister after all this time. I'm doing what Gretchen would have done. Oh, man. This is not the fight I was expecting. I love the way he uses dust. <laughs> run, run, Emerald. You have to make it. You are too useful. Just come after us. 
Oh man. Oh Jesus. He fucked her up. Oh, come on, Hazel. You're the tough one. Are we going to see them kill Salem? I know it's not going to be permanent, but... What happened? Don't you end there. <laughs> oh my god, this fucking episode. Or this chapter. Holy crap. There's literally too much happening. Oh my god. I am so fucking drained from watching that. Oh man, Hazel, you're so fucking cool. I am so sad to see you go. Alright, let's switch back to full screen. Whoops. Oh man. What a goddamn chapter that was. Um, and I, I feel like it's a place that's good to go because we we know what's happening with with Ruby's group um uh Crow and Robin they're they're probably still in prison or something like that or they they may have broken out now that uh that Salem destroyed it um god i i love that that Ren is finally out of his funk and that he he's kind of accepted he's kind of accepted things as they are and he is he is willing to move forward with it um speaking of move forward fucking john's line in the middle of there just oh my god <sighs> do what you do best just keep moving forward why why do you constantly have to have to fucking pull at my heartstrings like this rooster teeth all the time um i i love that that we're getting like insight into people how people are feeling with uh with Ren because of his semblance now and I like that uh I like that uh there's a story reason for him to be able to tell or that there's now a canonical reason I like that uh that Sean is just he's just not afraid he's he he is becoming the the leader that we all knew he could be someday and that he he's able to go forward into battle with like with like the thoughts that yeah this is going to work out we're going to be able to do this and not not be afraid of of failing despite everything that has happened to him um i love that uh we're we're now getting hazel and emerald uh both deciding to turn against Salem. Salem's got no one left there now except for except for maybe Watts because we sure as hell know Cinder's definitely not really on her side. Um But yeah, I'm I'm super glad Emerald is now finally deciding to to leave and join the other side. Uh that's something that I as well as many other people have been waiting for since volume three on top of that rooftop uh neo i i am very curious as to what neo's plan is because i thought that she left with cinder um but no i guess it was literally just cinder and the hound that went 
I I don't know what's going to happen next episode. I'm wondering exactly what they did to Salem right there. I'm I'm imagining they killed her to at least get her out of the way for a while. And if they killed her, the, then the Grim will probably stop spawning out of Monstra. Since she it looked like she was the one controlling that. Um, God, this, this volume has been amazing so far. Like, the la last volume, don't get me wrong, it was also amazing. But this is just like taking it to a whole nother level. And I, I, before this volume even came out, I was wondering, like, how are they going to have an entire volume that covers only the span of, like, a, a day or two? And, my God, is it working? And I absolutely cannot wait to get to the end of this volume and, and find out how all of this is going to play out and where we're going to be at at the end. Because th things are really ramping up now. And, uh... Situations are getting pretty, uh, pretty dire and desperate. Um, yeah, I'm gonna end the video there. If you enjoyed this video, please like, uh, subscribe, and make sure you uh, come back for the next one. You have a good one.